What are you teasing me about my hair for? Your hair is just as crazy this morning. My mom is fun. She has jewelry. My mom needs, what does that say? My mom needs water. Yeah. Wowie. Do you know why I'm so excited for you to go to school today? To take your wall ball. He plays wall ball with his friends every day. First thing my teacher threw a ball, I see. Ball and half. This is a special one, it won't break. Wow. I think it's especially hard waking up this morning after our long break. We have to get back in the swing of things. This is the ball that I was using. My teacher broke it on accident, but we still used it. And since my I got three wall balls, I have some extra ones. So I'm bringing my orange one uh, to school to play with. This morning, the one task Bonnie gave me was to take Christmas down. Now, some people cry when they take that blessed Yuletide symbol down because it means the holidays are over. I cry because I just don't freaking want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I don't feel like doing anything. I'd let, just leave it up. I'm tired. I just don't want to do it. The same way you put the tree up is the same way you take it down. You need some good background music. Christmas decorations. These are winter decorations. Why are we taking our trees stuff down? Because it's past Christmas, son. We're not those weirdos who keep their Christmas stuff up year round. Even our picture, Santa? Yeah, Santa's pictures gotta go. My land for you will always burn. This is not for at all. Oh, geez, they don't account for the uh, whiplash. Man trips done. Whew, so scary. I'm really not sure how to put these deer up because this way they're looking at each other and maybe they like each other, but for all we know they're having a little fight. They don't want to look at each other at all. So I guess depending on the day, that's what they're doing. There's a reason the cardboard is recyclable. It regenerates, I swear to it. I have cleaned my house out a dozen times since Christmas alone, gotten rid of all the cardboard in the house, and they just keep coming. They just keep regenerating. I just keep finding boxes down as I'm cleaning more stuff out. Like, oh, there's an empty box, there's an empty box. That stuff is unstoppable. Ellie and I had a meeting with some things that we're working on today. So I was gone for most of the morning and I came home to my house, mostly put back together, and Joel, I cannot even tell you how good it feels. I didn't think you were gonna have it all the way done. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> There's a few like wintry things we're gonna leave up. Like I'll leave my reindeer. We need to do something with my stuff up there. I don't know, but it feels really good. And I found the couch that is supposed to go here and I found what material it's gonna be in. So that'll be here in like a month. A month? <laughs> yeah. They'll show up for my birthday. And now for another, well, another project for Joel, yay! And another like organizational thing that we're gonna be doing and a really huge milestone for like our last baby. You guys, we're getting rid of the crib today. This crib tent that we're taking down was literally the best purchase we've ever made. We're gonna keep it. Are you missing some socks? There's a reason he goes to bed with two and ends up with one. Yep, just a few. Yeah, we're gonna put that in the closet and save it for a rainy day or a child that visits that doesn't stay in its crib. It's no. perfect. I will honestly leave a link in the description if you're looking for something like this for a kid that you wanna keep in a crib. It was honestly the best purchase of our life. It was a hard decision to make to get rid of the crib, but honestly, I just need to get rid of it. It's fine, I don't have to keep everything, so we're gonna just give it to the GI. I was like, maybe I can sell it on KSL or something, but I don't want to hassle with it. We're just going to give it to the GI. Whose is this? My pillow. That's your pillow. What's it going to go on? My pillow. It's in my new bed. My pillow. Here's your doggy. 
You can hold it. Look, should we put your new sheet on your mattress? Mm -hmm. Look, what's on here? The bus. No, it's not a bus. Do you know what that is? That's a truck. It's a fire truck. That's a bus. It's a fire truck, you goofy. That's a bus. It's a fire truck. Fire truck. That is a fire truck. That's a fire truck. It's kind of big. It's kind of big. Yeah, fire it's truck. not like snug. Fire truck? Fire truck. Okay, you put all the extra pieces in here. Pick them up and put them in here. You can definitely do that, can't you? Good job. Lincoln, thank you for helping. Thank you. You want those? Yep. You want those? I do want those. You, go, you know, you go put that by dad's tools. This is a pretty sad day for me. I mean, sad, but it really exciting. I mean, Lincoln's been ready for a very long time to get to be out of the crib. I've put it off for a long time, and it's not because I'm putting it off. It's just been nice having him in his crib still. Uh, I'd let him stay. <laughs> no, this is a very needed change. It's just sad. I rocked all my babies in this rocking chair. It wasn't like anything expensive and super nice. Like it's not an heirloom, but it's just, it's it no served its purpose. I was so grateful for it when I got it. And I used it with all of the kids. Do you remember how late we stayed up the first night when we brought this in? Yes, I do. We stayed up forever, like but it was so exciting. It was. Okay. Go haul it off, someone else will have it. It's like I wish so bad that someone that watched our videos could get it. So they could like tag us in it or something. <laughs> Bye. While Joel does that, I'm going to clean this bedroom. The kids are all downstairs watching TV while Joel and I are finishing up this room. I got it at least vacuumed, vacuumed the edges, dusted the floorboards, and just kind of, kind of rearranged the stuff in here. Joel built this by hand. He welded it and made it when Olivia was graduating from the crib. We thought we would have her in this bed and then the baby in the crib, and so we had the headboard made to match the crib. This is something that I would never get rid of, though, because you hand-built it. And for a minute we had Olivia in the little bed and then Cody in the crib and it just didn't work out <laughs> you climb up on your bed you climb up the step stool and get on your bed yeah. <laughs> what do you think Lincoln do you like it is this where you're gonna sleep are you gonna go to bed Wow oh you know just how to do it Wow. Do you think you'll sleep in this bed? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, out, Mama. Well, I have a feeling he's not really gonna hey. go to bed. <laughs> Olivia was horrid. She wouldn't stay in her bed for the life of her. She slept on the floor for most of the nights because she would fall asleep messing around. I don't know, I think he might do good. Cody and Boston, we put them on the bed for the first time, walked out of the room and never once ever had to go put them back. They just slept on the bed. I think Lincoln is gonna be somewhere in between. I don't think it's gonna be terrible, but I don't think it's gonna be like perfectly easy like we did the other boys. How did he get play all night long? Yeah, he stays up as is all night in his crib, so I'm a little nervous. Your bed looks so cute. What do you guys think? That's so amazing. Do you think it's so cute? I can't believe this lasts ever since I was first born. I know. Kids are a little hyper getting Lincoln's new bed put together. <laughs> Olivia did. She used to hide fruit snacks under it a lot. <laughs> you kids, listen, while dad finishes up wiring the camera so Lincoln cannot get to it, <laughs> I want you guys to come and say goodnight to Lincoln. This is a big night for him, so I want you to say goodnight to Lincoln in his big boy bed. Can you say goodnight to Cody? Goodnight. Yeah. I just want to live with him all night. I know, wouldn't it be so fun? Say goodnight to Cody. Say goodnight, Cody. Boston, can you say goodnight to Lincoln in his new bed? Goodnight. Goodnight, boss. Okay, <laughs> I want you to go get in your bed and I'll come say goodnight okay. to you in a little bit. Okay, say goodnight. Okay. You be good for mama.
you go. Okay, now you go get on your bed and you can read until I come and say goodnight. I love when you used to like tuck me in and I'm just like, Mommy, can you tuck me in? <laughs> Well, I'll be in to tuck you in in a minute. Oh, good night, Lincoln. Oh my. What was that? What was that? I it. Yeah, I heard you. Sit down. Oh, sit down. Look. Lay down. Oh, awesome. That works. I was a little nervous. I cut all this hair. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. It works. Yeah, I'm going to watch you all night. I just got to finish this last little bit and I'm done. Okay, <laughs> Olivia, please don't do that. <laughs> yes, I just don't want them talking through the vents. I don't. I want to just try to get them to go to bed. Now listen, when I put you to bed at night, I want you to stay in bed. Okay. Does Lincoln get a binky? No binky. That one, Working. What are you doing? I'm working. You're working? Uh, you working. What's that? Okay, I want you to lay down. Lay all the way down. Okay, put your feet in. Now, Lincoln, I'm going to go out and I'm going to close the door. And I want you to stay on your bed. Okay, I'm going to close the door. And I want you to stay on your bed. Okay? okay. Good night. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good night, little baby. Considering we've made it this far, I'm pretty stinking proud of that. <gasps> there he goes, there he goes. How's it, kids? You can't put me in the crib. No, he's staying on. No, he's just messing around now. <laughs> he's just playing peekaboo with himself. He got rid of the pillow. He's laying his doggy down like he always does. The doggy's gonna go right between the bed. Oh no. Yep, look, it already did. Did you see him pull back mm -hmm. out? <gasps> He's trying to get his blanket. Considering, I'm pretty dang proud. Oh yeah. This is way better than Olivia's first attempt. For her, the second the door was shut, she was at the door pounding on it. No, she was on our heels before we even shut the door. Joel, he's getting ready for bed. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look, oh my gosh. He literally threw his pillow on the floor, got his doggy as a pillow, and now he's ready for bed. Mama is proud! If you guys want to follow up on Lincoln and how his bed is doing, if you guys want to keep up with our lives, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, double check the notification button to make sure you're being notified. Don't miss out on anything. You don't we want love you guys. This is so exciting. I'm going to be watching this camera all night. Goodbye, you guys. Let's just check in a little later. He is still in his bed. He was literally just twirling his doggy ear. You guys, I have never been a more proud mom. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. And the technology that we have to sit and watch him is incredible. It's incredible. Hashtag mom life, hashtag mama is proud.